Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bat Friends Beyond podcast, episode number 139. I am one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champion, Joe. What's up, Joe? Matt, Matt, Matt. Remember Matt? Matt, Matt, Matt. Is that your orange piccolo song? My special orange piccolo song. (laughs) (laughs) Do you have another TV show you want to talk about for 10 minutes before we get... I mean, we can talk about Street Sharks, we can talk about Turtles, we can talk about Sandman, we can talk about how great She-Hulk is. Well, how about we watch season two, episode one of Batman Beyond instead? No, let's go watch She Hulk. Titled Revenant. Well, this will come out in like another month and a half, so the whole series will be out, but we'll only talk about the first two episodes. It'll be perfect. <laughs> this is written by Hillary J. Bader and directed. I'm going to fuck this up, by the way. Kyung Wan Lim. It's just racist. Maybe, but that's his name. Nothing I can do about it, Joe. I mean, there is. Be less racist. <laughs> <sighs> theme music. See, if they just put an orange filter over this, then it should be special orange Batman Beyond. With apathy. And greed. And corruption. And power. And hope. <laughs> Why, like, (laughs) I feel like I just discover a new level of reality every time I watch this. (laughs) Courage. Is this why you watch it every time? Yeah, also for the very bad dancing. (laughs) Honor. Scanning city, random numbers. Justice. The skull no longer means anything and has not for several episodes. Revenant. I already forgot what the fuck Revenant was about. Skull's blade. Oh, yeah, the ghost that the girls want to fuck, but it's not a ghost. That's right. I remember. I remember now. Sexy ghost time. Mm Mm-hmm. Took me 20 years to win those trophies. Kong won them. It's the work of the ghost. Uh, we're gonna show. We're gonna show the ghost our tits later. <laughs> like. Yes, he's been in a cave. Technically, but it was a European cave, <laughs> so it's more exotic. And right away, people start talking poltergeist. Those are some big ass lockers. Someone's, well, they have key cards. Some of rich, fancy high schools. They have key cards. And a giant computer in the middle of the hall. <laughs> Garrison Jacobs. Ooh la. See, now she wants a fucking ghost. Jesus, a bunch of Beverly Crushers in here. <laughs> Even I got that reference. Did you? Did you see the meme somebody made? Where was Beverly on the couch? And there was all the Jedi ghosts behind her? Like the... Brazzers image where yeah. it's the white girl and the black guys. That cracked me up. <laughs> Are they using a what's that called? Ouija board? I don't know. Ouija board, yes. yes. The Ouija board says we should kiss. <laughs> Ouija board says we should show them our tits. We feel your presence. Then they're gonna start tripping. How do two women even make love? <laughs> Scissor? No, it's tribbing. Apparently. That's the name for it now. I don't know why. And Seth Green shows up. Yeah, he's with his number one t shirt. Fucking douchebag. <laughs> no. The board has spoken, creep. Teehee, we're gonna make out four way for the ghost. It's a That's dick just, move, Seth just, Green. Yeah, it's just rude. Did 
That's why no one likes you, Nelson. And then he died. Mm-hmm. We never saw him again. From blunt force trauma to the back of the neck. From a horny ghost. Oh, yeah, it's douchebag. Okay, that's right. That's who the ghost is. He is, I mean, f- except for the ghost part, he is horny. Let's not get it wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's right. It's, you should, um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, the don't spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> I also love you should be down at the piers looking for smugglers, Bruce. It's the 21st century or something, probably. I'm not fighting a Wookiee. <laughs> The Wookiees are our friends now. <laughs> yeah, show us your tits. <laughs> like, <laughs> what Dana ever do? Poor Dana. Oh, Cop- you know what she did. Cops a feel life flies over there. He uh-huh. grabbing her tits. One of the benefits of being Batman. You have rocket boots. Why are you swinging from something that's somehow attached to the ceiling? Because he's Batman. You're not Spider Man. Some animator loved that. Fucking Korean animator. That rope fucking tied itself around him. So Batman Beyond's kryptonite is chairs. Apparently. That's what I'm learning. That's, I mean... Let's go for a ride, Nelson. That's, that's all fucked up. Why isn't that battering blue? Everyone knows his batterings are blue. <laughs> See, now you use your rocket boots. God damn it, Terry. You know what would work against a ghost, Terry? Cloaking. Yeah, ghosts can't haunt you if they can't see you. It's true. It's just science. <laughs> Magnets. Ghosts can't haunt you if they can't see you. <laughs> the worst day of nachos is still better than the best day of fishing. This, this, this made me laugh. <laughs> Fuck it. There you go. Peace. <laughs> Lots of luck. Nelson, you're supposed to keep moving, you jackass. School's on fire. Hmm. Hmm. That's Harley hmm. Quinn's outfit. Hmm. Yeah, because Bruce fucked her. It's true. It. So now even you believe it's a ghost? Bruce, we just fought like people with mind powers. You've met Zatanna. You've fought people with mind powers. You've fought ghosts. You're aware that aliens exist, but ghosts are a stretch too far for you. Demons, witch boys, and mortal zombies. But this thing, I don't know. It's too far. It just, no, it's not too far. It just feels so high school. Which is ironic because he's right. Yes. Ew! What? <laughs> that was what I wrote when he said Shui. I oh. wrote ew and then fuck Shui. I fucking hate Shui. I'm gonna buy a t shirt that just says Shui on it. I will only burn it. wear it to our recording. I will burn it. <laughs> I'm not undressing you first either. I did find a very nice Ram Space Knight t-shirt. A what? Ram Space Knight. Oh. For some reason I heard like ramen slala. I'm like, <laughs> what? His dad's dead. That was what that whole thing. See? Dude just wants to see some tits. I don't blame him. Boobies are nice. They are. They're enjoyable. They make a good pillow. Everyone needs a bosom for a pillow. Yeah. Um, not sure I like these showers. 
Just, just not sure. That's it's a very rude. strange setup for a high school. Mm-hmm. Did you have to shower after gym in high school? Is that a thing? We had the option to. We didn't, we were not forced to. We did not even get the option. We were forced to shower after wrestling practice, which made some sense. Made a lot of sense. But also, like, we had a pool, so like we were supposed to. We had to shower after pool because you're wet, like you're covered in chlorine. And you got to do something. So we didn't have that. I just don't like the whole idea of group showering. Call me crazy. Especially because it's like it's not like teenagers are nice people in general. No. <laughs> Let's put a partition with like a little curtain. Yeah, or yeah, par- yeah, little cubicles. Yeah. And then you know you're there late, and you can fuck somebody in the cubicle. Uh, yes, I do like the idea of the girls um, panting. That was the subtitle. Girls panting. I do think more showers need the LED screen to show me how hot my water is going to be. I think more shower heads need the LED lights like mine does, so that you can have a rave while you shower. I need a new one, because mine has a, one of the things that isn't in all the way, so it squirts out this way. Yeah, you should get yourself an LED shower head. Because I'm going to tell you, sometimes you just wake up, you're having a down day. And then there's just fucking lights in your face as water comes out. And you're like, you know what? Could be worse. Could be worse. I discovered recently that I enjoy um, those cans of espresso coffee. As opposed to espresso what? Soda? I don't know. (laughs) Yeah. I don't like coffee at all, though. I do, but I don't like it during the summer. It's too hot. And it makes me hot. And then I get dehydrated. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't drink coffee in general. It's fine during the winter. No, that's what hot cocoa's for. That is what hot cocoa's for. And that's why I have an electric kettle. So, yes, Willie. Willie, Willie, Willie. Willie wants to show him his Willie. <laughs> Christ. Let your kettle is a wise decision. This is also where we start to get the first peek that Terry had uh, troubles when he was younger. Yes, because he was in Juvie. Mm-hmm. He says, I've been here before. I've been to Juvenile Hall before. Nobody calls, nobody writes. It's creepy. Why is it creepy that nobody calls or writes? I want to understand that. It's probably because you were an asshole, Terry. <coughs> Willie been working out. Jerking off builds up them biceps. It's true. <coughs> he doesn't need his glasses anymore. Life's so much better since he got that golem. It's true. And got locked away. And drank a lot of milk. And had shitty neighbors that played loud music. <laughs> what kind of milk do you think they're drinking? Man milk. Because <laughs> we've watched this now for... I don't know, 30-something episodes? It's Korean animated. It's supposed to be water. And I haven't seen a single cow. <laughs> In fairness, we only saw, like, cows in one episode of the regular Batman animated series. But we saw cows. Just one. <laughs> Maybe we'll see it in another episode. <laughs> Show's not over yet. I mean, in my heart it is. But... Two, <laughs> two episodes in a row, people with mind powers. Uh-huh. That banging you heard, everybody, is Joe trying to send a message to his neighbors. To fucking shut up. I know where you live, Terry. That camera that's watched me the entire time I've been in here. I totally forgot about it. (laughs)
They should send him to help that little girl. Doctors are code for prison guards. <laughs> This is straight out X Men. It's so high school. It really is too that like he had two months till he got out, and he could have just gone somewhere else and done whatever. And he just goes, "Eh, fuck it, I'm leaving now." More proof that Batman doesn't hate guns. He does build a lot of guns. <laughs> One shot, and he'll be out for hours. This is. Le- this is loaded with lead. One shot. <laughs> we have for hours. What happens if I miss the shot? Well, you couldn't add a clip? We're maybe all a couple fucked. extra? I'm going to have the school board go over my shoulder for the rest of my career. This is a call order. If you don't close the school, you let me to go over your shoulder for the rest of your career. She, she's mad because her movie got canceled. <laughs> it's true. This is Principal Nakamura speaking. Yeah, that motherfucker looked like a Nakamura, didn't he? <laughs> Not an old white guy. Koreans don't like the Japanese very much. <laughs> to Koreans, Japanese are white people. <laughs> Seth Green gets in his convertible. This really ugly looking fucking shitty shit box of a car. Yeah, rule number one of a car. Actually, I'm going to make this two rules now. The steering wheels should be circular. And you usually don't want the back wheels to be so much bigger than the front wheels. Surfs up. What does that even mean? He's car surfing. I restate my objection. What does that even mean? Why is the steering wheel a square? Because it's hip to be square. That's true. Oh no. His car is ruined. Now he has nothing of value left to offer. (laughs) I heard that's how 90210 ended. That's true. I do love this. No fair, you got powers. Alright, I'll fight you without powers. Oh, you got a couple hits in. Eat shit, I'm going to use my powers now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Maybe just a little power. Yeah, eat shit. That's a hate crime because that was uh, the principal's car. <laughs> In fairness, fuck Nelson. Like, <laughs> Willie's right about that. This is where Willie gets wrong. He's gonna fucking rape her. Yep. This is exactly how Harbinger started. Terry, you need more time at the range. Or, you know, don't grab him. Just fucking shoot him in the back before he knows what's happening. But the fact that he had to make the motion before pulling the trigger. Like, why was your gun all the way back here? Amateur hour. Oh, no. It's a ghost. (laughs) Ragman. <laughs> What's with all these red batterings? Everybody knows his batterings are blue. You son of a bitch, you know that. <laughs> Willie's this a guy Nazi, baby. Hates cars. He does. Well, he can fly now, so he's moved beyond them. No, oh, he's evolved. Beyond he's the car. evolved beyond <laughs> Homo Car Warius. <laughs> <laughs> you don't kick a man when he's down You murder him These Hamilton High School signs Like whoever makes them <laughs> Is so goddamn rich Yep 
I mean, that could have been a giant coin. But <laughs> Moral of the story. Batarang solve all problems, and this guy can apparently go Super Saiyan. <laughs> That's totally what's happening right now, too. <laughs> He's raising his power level. Over 9,000. Now he's dead. He knocked himself out with a tree. No, he killed himself with a tree while trying to raise his power level. Now he really is a ghost. I guess we can't fuck a ghost. Now he has soup cans on his head. Like in that movie. Yeah, sent a woman. The Suicide Squad. <laughs> Scent of a woman. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. <clears throat> I remember Dad before he died. Their dad's dead. That's why it's funny. You're gonna be a Robin soon. You gotta have a dead dad to be a Robin. It's true. Just, just ask. Tickle fight. Just ask Tim. So, like, we're continuing with the whole notion of trying to make the uh, monstrous villain sympathetic, where you know Willie's back in prison, and the guards like, "Sorry, kid, no one's came to visit you." It's like, well, you know, he has crazy mind powers and tried to kill a bunch of people. And rape a woman. Yep, at least one. Safe Ah, to say probably two. Like, maybe that's why no one wants to visit him. (laughs) Maybe if he wasn't such a shitbag... People would want to visit him. Well, listen, serial killers get proposals all the time when they're in jail. Yeah, but they didn't rape anybody. They just <laughs> killed somebody. They succeeded. See, the, I think the moral of the story here is he tried to kill a bunch of people. Didn't fa- didn't follow through. Gotta have follow through. Gotta have follow follow your dreams, people. Women respect a man that does what he says he will. (laughs) Oh, I wish that wasn't so true. Speaking of a man who does what he says he will, Joe, where can you find you on the internet? JoePank.com, J-O-E-P-A-N-C.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Cthulhu Holmes, or Joe Pank. They'll both get you there. You can follow me on Instagram at JoePank36, where I do my first roll of the day. And if you just think that I'm a likable fellow and that you would like to see me achieve my hopes and dreams, you can go to patreon.com slash JoePank or click Nexus. Either one. You give me money. Then I'll be happy and you'll get stuff. And um, everything's happy. Everything's happy. Is that the next Click Nexus shirt? Everything's happy. Everything's happy. Just a very generic <laughs> font. Everything's happy. You can follow me at Fortress Chris on Twitter, and you can find me at FortressComicNews.com. Uh, remember, everybody, give us the like, subscribe, share, comment down below on the YouTube version, as well as subscribing to the channel and to give us five star reviews on whatever podcast you use. And you can find me at Extra Mile, Patreon.com slash Fortress Comics. Thank you all so much for listening this week. We'll see you all here next week. Onlyfans.com slash Joe Pank for sexy ghost barbecue. Ooh.